Okay, so let's get this started. It's already 1.06. Uh, would love, love to start at 1, but hey, uh, things happen, right? Uh, we have learned a lot about technology and Zoom meetings over the last few uh, weeks, but um, there's so much more. So um, let's get this started. Um, as you know, um, some people are not going to be necessarily able to make it today, um, and we are going to be recording this so that they can view this at a later time. Um, there are a couple of different awards um, that we like to give out every year. Um, and uh, we think it's important to recognize those students who have put forth the extra effort and uh, went the extra mile and uh, have really done some things that are um, worth mentioning and uh, are worth recognizing in front of other students. So um, the different things that we're going to be talking about are um, outstanding work ethic, um, an excellence award, um, we have character awards, uh, there will be some special recognition, and last but certainly not least, uh, there's going to be a bear cup and a bear award. Um, and all those rewards are special in themselves, and um, I'll explain a little bit more about them as we go along. So here we go. I probably should have gone down those slides just a little bit before. Okay, and again, this presentation will be recorded so that it is accessible to um, everybody who cannot make it uh, today and those who would like to share that with um, family at a later time. The first category of awards that um, I'll be mentioning are the Outstanding Work Ethic Awards. Now, the Outstanding Work Ethics are for students who went the extra mile. Um, they have ended up in you know, the top of the classes, um, but not because um, it just all came easy, it's because they really went the extra mile whether or not it came easy to them. Um, if a teacher asked them to do something, um, they would give 120%. They would work extra hard um, which allowed them to end up exactly where they were um, ending up at the end um, of the semester. Um, the different categories for the outstanding work ethics are in mathematics. And in mathematics, um, the teachers decided to give the outstanding work ethic award to the following students. Tyler Chilcote, Madison Lushak, Jacob Smith, Emilia Pulley, Jacob Smith, Zeli Cesar, and Hannah Montgomery. So congratulations to you all. Um, your work um, and your extra effort has definitely been uh, recognized by your teachers. The next category for the Outstanding Work Ethic Award is in English. And for that, we would like to congratulate the following students. Tyler Chilcote, Joe Peasley Martin, Aidan Kelly, Jacob Bissonette, Tyler Phillips, and Abby Ferguson. And that's Outstanding Work Ethic Awards in English. The next category, which is primarily a junior class, is for English and Civics. And it goes to the following students Amelia Pulley and Oriana Lindsay. Congratulations. Um, Mrs. Morton also gives out a Jay Gatsby Work Ethics Award. And uh, that is going to two students this year. And that is Jessica Phillips and Gabe Hefner. I wish you had a button where we could just all clap, right? But unfortunately, um, we're a little limited here. But you all do deserve rounds of applause, for sure. We're going to move on to the category of social studies. The following students have been awarded the Outstanding Work Ethic Award in Social Studies. Skylar Turrell, Aidan Kelly, Jacob Smith, Zeli Cesar, Jordan Papich, 
and Jessica Phillips. Congratulations. The next category is science. The following students are being awarded the Outstanding Work Ethics Award in Science. Caleb Black, Madison Lechak, Tyler Phillips, Zeta Richards, Ben Wiley, and Jenny Cesar. Congratulations. Nice job. Foreign language, whoops, and I skipped ahead. So we may as well just read those names really, really quickly. The Outstanding Work Ethics Award in Foreign Languages goes to Tyler Chilcote, Ella Kasuba, Connor Snyder, John Erickson, and Owen Snyder. In Visual Arts, there are three students who have been awarded the Outstanding Work Ethic Award. Those three students are Tyler Chilcote, Darby Andrews, and Izzy Ristari. Congratulations. Music is our next category. And the following students have been awarded an Outstanding Work Ethic Award in Music. Ella Kasuba, Joe Peasley Martin, Morgan Williams, Zelie Cesar, and Sydney Paul. Congratulations. Talk about putting the elbow grease into your subject areas. Very nice. And these are our Outstanding Work Ethic Awards. Next, we'll be moving on to Academic Excellence. The students who are being awarded the Academic Excellence Awards are students who are at the very top of their fields and teachers have recognized that. And if I haven't mentioned it before, by the way, for each and every single one of the awards that I'm reading today, there will be certificates. Um, as you know, we have a pickup days scheduled um, or rather drop off days for anything that you may need to return back to the school, whether that's school books or if it's Google Chromebooks and calculators and things like that. And when you do that, um, we'll have those certificates ready for you to pick up. Um, there will be a sign-out sheet where you can sign up for a sp specific slot and um, that will be posted shortly, not at this moment in time though. So our Academic Excellence Awards, I need to find my cursor here. Our very first category is Mathematics. And the following students are receiving an Excellence Award for Mathematics. Those students are Jacob Bissonnette, Tyler Phillips, Ben Wiley, Jessica Phillips, Victoria Bacevich, Jenny Cesar, and Jordan Papage. Congratulations. Moving on to English, we have four students who are receiving the Excellence in English Award today. Those students are Madison Lechak, Coletienne Renéa Pollard, Jenny Cesar, and Mia Pablo. Congratulations. Well deserved. The next category is English and Civics, and there's only one student who received this, and that student is Jamie Owens. Well done, Jamie. There's also a Hail Caesar Award for Excellence in English. That particular award goes to, again, a single student, and that student is Eden Palmieri. Nice job, Eden. We're moving on to the next um, subject area, and that is social studies. The students who have been awarded the Excellence in Social Studies Award are Colettienne Renee Pollard, Madison Lechak, Lena Scheuring, Tyler Phillips, Connor Britton, Mia Pavlo, and Jenny Cesar. Congratulations. Moving on to the next subject area. Science. 
And the students are Christian Morrican, Tyler Chilcote, Aidan Kelly, Jessica Phillips, Connor Britton, and Oriana Lindsay. For foreign languages, the following students have been awarded in excellence in foreign languages. Emily Douglas, Tyler Phillips, Jessica Phillips, Ethan Guthrie, Ariana Lindsay, and Lauren Smith. Congratulations. Again, we really do need a clapping sound effect button here. I wish we had one because you all do deserve a round of applause. Moving on to visual arts. The following students have been awarded an Excellence in Visual Arts Award. Those students are Madison Lechak, Lillian Foltz, Olivia Albrecht, Gabri Holbeck, and Jamie Owens. An Excellence in Music Award has been given to the following students. Zeta Richards, Mia Pavlov, Jessica Thurman, Nick Chilcote, Clay Davey, and Tyler Phillips. Congratulations. Those are incredible awards where we recognize your academic work. Um, you need to be really proud of yourself. This, is, this definitely means something for us to be giving you out those awards. Next, we are moving on to our character awards. Um, it is important to us at Kensington Woods that we recognize certain character traits um, among our student body because Kensington Woods is not a school like any other school. Um, we put a lot of emphasis on getting along, uh, along with others, um, building what we call soft skills that make you successful, not just in the academic world, but in, in everyday life. Um, the following character awards um, are really recognitions of your, I don't want to call them achievements, but of your traits that you have shown us over the school year that we think are really admirable and that we believe are going to take you very far. So let's take a look at those character awards that we gave out. The very first character award is the Tom Sawyer Adventure Award, and I think the name says it all. And that award is being given to Elena Schoering. Congratulations. Positive outlook, again, very self-explanatory. Who is the person who always smiles at you walking down the hallway? Um, who is the person who always tries to, to see the best and the positive and everything? And really has um, an infectious, Kind of attitude that um, helps lifting up us when lifts us up when uh, when when we may not feel at our best. Uh, we talked about it, and we decided that this year's Positive Outlook Award goes to Sky Terrell. Thanks for cheering us up, Sky. Something that's overlooked a lot these days in our society, which is so very very important is kindness. And we believe that it's very important to recognize kindness in our student body. Um, this was not a hard choice for us at all. Um, this name has come up multiple times when we talk about the, this particular trade. And the kindness award this year goes to Ethan Guthrie. For those of you who were at Kensington Woods at the very first days may have remembered watching a video of an elk who is with his herd trying to cross a road and can't quite make it over the fence. Um, that is a symbol of somebody who is facing obstacles that may seem like not necessarily that they are impossible to overcome. but they're definitely obstacles and it's not being made easy and a person is being given 
I don't want to say permission to give up because we don't have permission to give up, but people would definitely understand, you know, if inside of those obstacles, they would find another way. But if you can remember the video, that elk tried and tried and tried and did not allow that obstacle to stay in their way. They persevered, they pushed through and finally made it over the fence to, to join the rest of the herd. There were easier ways of doing this maybe, but that elk persevered through everything else across all obstacles. Um, and after discussions among staff, we really believe that that elk award this year goes to Jenny Cesar. Great job making it over the fence, Jenny. We have a quiet leader award because um, a lot of people think that being a leader means that you are loud, that you tell people what to do, um, that you command attention and things like that. But really it's the quiet leaders who can really make an impact on others. And unfortunately they're often not recognized enough. Um, a quiet leader is somebody who leads by example, somebody that you want to emulate somebody who can show you what success looks like and you know by watching them you learn what it takes and it's something that uh, you follow and um, they have a very special place not only at Kensington Woods but in the world and this year we want to recognize the following student for being one of those quiet leaders um, that is definitely worth emulating and that student is Olivia Albrecht. There are, of course, those leaders who are always front and center. Um, they do take on a lot of work. They, uh, whenever there's an opportunity to, um, to excel, uh, not to excel, but to, to do something for the organization, to, to go out of their way and take on work that is really not something that they have to do, but they volunteer um, not for themselves, but they volunteer for others. Um, they're the kind of person that when you need something done, they're there and um, they're ready to take that load right off your shoulders and, and run with it um, for no other reason than just to be helpful and to be part of the process. Um, we do have students at our school who definitely um, embody that, but uh, there is only one of those awards and this leadership award for the 20 uh, 1920 school year goes to Gabby Holbach. Well deserved. Good job, Gabby. At Kensington Woods, we even have an old soul award. And I don't think I need to explain that one much. Um, when you come across an old soul, you understand that's what they are. And uh, you just appreciate, um, you know, the opportunity to talk with them and um, hearing their perspective and things like that. Oftentimes they're a little quiet, they're not usually very loud, but when they do say something, um, it's definitely something that you want to listen to. And uh, this year's Kaywood's Old Soul Award goes to Jenny Cesar. And we have the Dark Horse Award. The Dark Horse, um, the one that um, you probably didn't think about uh, betting on when you started the race because you just didn't pay attention to them and you should have been paying attention to them from the very beginning. Uh, and because you didn't pay attention to them, they just come out of the gates and you're just like, wow, holy smoke. And they, finish, they, they start strong, they finish strong. And um, those are some individuals that you really need to watch out for because they are a force to be reckoned with. This year, we decided to give the Dark Horse Award to two students. Those two students are Aiden Kelly and Cooper Parsons. Watch out, guys. We have a Creative Thinker Award. 
And uh, it is important for us to have creative thinkers because um, we all need somebody who helps us think outside the box. Um, the Creative Thinker Award for this year goes to Jessica Thurman. Jesse, nice job. Another award that we have that um, is very similar to the Elk Award is um, GRIT. Um, we give a GRIT award to students who refuse to give up. Um, those are students who are determined, they have their sights set on something, and they work really hard on getting it done, and you can't tell them any otherwise, um, they're going to get it done. Um, those are the kind of people who withstand the challenges of the world, um, who are going to be successful no matter what, because nobody can tell them different. They will not give up in those three students that we chose this year for our GRID Award are Regina Pacioco, Owen Snyder, and Tony Snyder. At K Woods, we picked a student who we thought deserved a Charisma Award. And um, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen the work, you've seen, the, you, you've heard the lines. Um, this year's Charisma Award goes deservedly to Aiden Palmieri. Nice job, Aiden. Way to make K Woods a better place. We have a step up award. Uh, that award has been given to students uh, for whom what the teacher told them to do in a class was not enough. Uh, they took it a step further and they exceeded all expectations that teachers set out for students. Um, there are several students who are going to be given that award today. Those students are Jessica Phillips, John Erickson, Nanami Monroe, Levi, Th uh, Levi Thurman, Connor Burton, and Abby Ferguson. We want to move on to special recognitions. Every year we have a summer photo contest where we challenge you to take pictures of yourself with uh, Wizard Kenny. Um, there are several students who are going to, who participated this year, who are going to be given this award. Those students are Jesse Phillips, Tyler Phillips, Gabby Holbeck, Bailey Sparrow, Lou Cesar, Zelly Cesar, Jenny Cesar, Nick Chilcote, and Tyler Chilcote. Thank you very much for participating in the summer photo contest. And I hope that we can add several names to that list uh, when it comes around next time next year, um, seeing you with Wizard Kenny over the summer. A new award this year is the Woolly Award. A Woolly Award. Um, the Woolly Award, um, those of you who take uh, foreign languages uh, with Ms. Hoppengarner, you are aware of it. Um, this is for uh, the most Woolly Nuggets completed this year based on your grade level. Woolly Nuggets. Some of you may be like, what are Woolly Nuggets? Well, Hopefully you'll get to take foreign languages with Ms. Hoppingarner next year and uh, you'll find out. Or else, if you don't take a foreign language and that's coming up for you at a later time, just ask her. I'm pretty sure she'll be happy to share. The Woolly Nuggets, the Woolly Awards are going to, in sixth grade, Tyler Phillips, seventh grade, um, Kat Hedger, eighth grade, Jesse Phillips, ninth grade, Ethan Guthrie, 10th grade, David Rush, and 11th grade, Lauren Smith. Congratulations for completing the most amount of Woolly Nuggets this year.
The following students were selected for the Gut Art Show, which is a countywide art show. Who are those students? You may already know, but let's recognize them. They are Dylan Humphreys, Audra Hughey, Lisa Gordon, Tony Snyder, Nate Taylor, Bailey Sparrow, Jamie Owens, Darby Andrews, Amber Byington, Gabby Holbeck, Lillian Powell, and Max Zukowski. I think we have some more here though. Yes, we have more. Tyler Chilcoat, Christian Moroquin, Kelsey Havas, Aiden Kelly, Eva Melvin Ortiz, Clay Davey, Olivia Albrecht, Izzy Restori, Jordan Papich, and Nanami Monroe. And guess what? I think there are more. And I have to say, this is such an honor to be selected for that. So it's incredible that we have so many students, but those other students, without further ado, are Becca Thurmond, Wyatt Turnies, Trevor McDonald, and Natalie Curl. Good job, guys. Next, we have the following student who was selected for the Lansing Art Gallery Art Scholarship. And that student is Dylan Humphreys. Congratulations, Dylan. Now, the following students were selected as part of the top 100 in the state by the Michigan Art Associ Education Association. What an honor. Those students are Madison Lushak, Emily Douglas, Lillian Foltz, and Audra Hughey. Congratulations. We also have a student who was selected to participate in the Huron Valley Council for the Arts Climate Change Show. That special student is Elissa Gordon. Nice job, Elissa. Also, as you know, we do participate in the Congressional Art Show. Again, it's something where you have to be selected for. And uh, this is for the 8th District Congressional Art Show um, that is sponsored by Sen uh, Senator Alyssa Slotkin and her office. And the students selected were Max Zukowski, Bailey Sparrow, Alyssa Gordon, Amber Byington, Lily Powell, and Gabby Hallback. Well done. You can tell that our school is definitely focusing on art and creative thinking. I dare say that we're probably one of the schools with some of the most amount of selections, statewide and district-wide. Something to be proud of. Now, there's also the Schol Scholastics Art and Writing Award. And uh, the following two students were recognized by the Scholastic Art and Writing Award. Um, and those two students are Dylan Humphreys and Gabby Hallback. Next, we need to award some letters for music. And the following students were awarded varsity letters in music for choir. Those students are Kyle Allman, Victoria Bakchevich, Dominic Berger, Anna Butler, Kiana Hedger, Cody Hedger, Audra Hughey, Ariana Lindsay, Hannah Montgomery, Mir Pavlov, Shalin Sporer, Rebecca Thurman, and Alexis Williams. 
we also distributed varsity letters for garage band and this is going to two students the two students are sean donovan and alexis williams a varsity letter for percussions was also being given out to the following two students luke watkins and max zukowski Moving on to recognitions by the National Art Honor Society. The following four students were members of the National Art Honor Society this year. Elissa Gordon, Amber Byington, Cody Wallace, and Alina Scheuring. The following students were inducted to the National Honor Society this year, and actually there's only one. That student is Gabby Hallback. All right, moving on to our very last awards, which are very, very special to Kensington Woods. We have a Bear Award and a Bear Cup Award. Every year we give those two out to students who really embody the spirit of Kensington Woods. Those are students who work hard academically and go above and beyond academically. They go out of their way to make other students feel comfortable at Kensington Woods and when other students are struggling, they're the ones who are the first to help. When we need something done, um, teachers or office or anything else, those are the first students to volunteer to say, how can we help? And when you're looking at those students, you know that those are students that you can come to and they really do um, embody Kensington Woods. So without further ado, the Bear Cup Award, so that's an eighth grader that exemplifies the Kensington Woods difference. The Bear Cup for the 2019-20 school year is Jessica Phillips. Congratulations, Jessica. You are what Kensington Woods is all about. The Bear Award, that is an 11th grader, that exemplifies the K. Woods difference. That student this year is Abby Ferguson. Congratulations, Abby. Both of your names are going on a plaque in the office that you can come and visit anytime you would like. Now, I do want to point out that we will make sure that these printed out awards are available for pickup when you drop off your materials on June 15th and Monday 22nd. We'll be emailing out or posting rather uh, a Calendly uh, where you can sign up for your own time slot to do, to do that. Um, if you need to get anything else out of your locker in case you left something in there, that may also really be a good time to do that. Um, so hopefully we'll see you soon and uh, you can come by and pick up your awards and drop off your materials. Again, uh, this presentation was recorded. It will be posted online and uh, it will be something that you can share with your family and with your friends. And uh, if you want to keep it for yourself, feel free to do so to look back at in future years. With that, I hope that um, you had a great school year. I know that things didn't end up the way that we were hoping, thanks to uh, COVID-19. But you know what? I think we all make the best of it. Um, and I thank you very much for working with us to, to try and still make it the best year possible. And um, I believe though that there are many more and better years to come. So thank you again for joining us and uh, we'll see you again real soon.